Hey guys, good morning. It's Coach Bells again, wanting to talk to you a little bit about how to attack the cover three. Cover three is always a defense that we seem to run into quite a bit. The fact that we have a um, eight-man box, it can defend eight gaps in the run, and it also provides four under coverages in the short passing game defensively. So today what we really want to talk about is how can we attack a cover three out of what we call in our pro style system our trips right formation okay so essentially you got to understand midline here through the center we got one two three four five our z receiver out to the edge causes that corner and the cover three to stay wide so we essentially have a couple ways that we can attack this cover three we can go zero one two three four across the side of strength here to run our stretch this is going to be pretty much mono to mono this is going to be man man blocking across the board we got equal numbers of offensive players to equal numbers of defensive players that is an option but remember in our offense we're always trying to find a way to get an advantage how do we get that advantage that's the question so a couple of things that i do we can also run truck toss to the side of strength so what I usually do is I call this, and this is my trips formation, I'll call this trips squeeze toss right. So instead of trying to spend time in practice to teach this guy to come down and block the flat defender, okay, um, we're going to go ahead and just put him in alignment. Put him in alignment to make that. So what we tell this Z is when you hear the squeeze call, you're going to line up in a perfect position. If his splits were, say, 9, 10, 11 yards wide, we're gonna put him in a perfect position to come down on that guy who's gonna be attacking the flat there, okay? Our H automatically knows on truck toss he needs to get as wide as the end man line of scrimmage, okay? Everybody else's rules on the backside are gonna be gap down, tackle pulls to the corner, okay? And then we go ahead and reach all the way across. We're not concerned about backside. Since this is a very wide play in the truck toss, the DE can come all he wants. Quarterback full turn, open up, boot opposite. Okay, This is our truck toss out of trips. I love this play. I think this is a great, great play. Okay, Another way that we can attack the defense in our trips formation against cover three is we got to also be able to run opposite. Okay, Opposite. Of, of where we run strong. So if we run strong, we need to be able to run weak. If we pass strong, we need to be able to pass weak. Okay, so another run option against this cover three defense would be simply put, same formation, we got our trips right, okay, is after we run this truck a few times, a few times, a few times, they're gonna have a tendency to sort of, and sort of anticipate with the flow where this play is going. You're not going to be able to run that over and over and over and over and over. That's just not going to happen, okay? They're going to simply eventually shift if you keep running it, right? And even worse, they might drop the free safety down and, and give you a cover zero look, okay? When that's the case, we can go ahead and run our counter away, okay? So we've got our gap down, gap down, gap down, kick out, and funnel H. This is a beautiful play, okay? Step opposite, funnel through. I really, really, really like this play. This is, this is really, guys, this is two plays that if you perfect in the blocking scheme by running trips right, squeeze, truck right, over and over, and then running the counter the opposite, that, that could go for a touchdown or a really, really, really big game. Okay? Now, the third option that I want to talk about in this offense is going to be, okay, we've ran the truck to the strength, and we've ran counter to the weak, okay, what kind of throws do we have out of these two looks? So in this example, I want to provide you with a way that we can run strong, a way that we can run weak, right? But now we got to have a way that we can pass strong and pass weak. And what better way to do that than to show you our sprint out game, okay? Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on delineating between how you want to run your routes, okay? You're going to have to decide that. These are going to be your three primary receivers in the sprint out game. We're going to call this sprint right, okay? An old, simple sprint trick. It's been around forever. 
I really don't care how you want to do this. You could send this guy out for a comeback, okay? You can send this guy out on a out route and you can send him to the flat. It doesn't matter. You can send him on the flat, him on the out. You can send H on a corner. You can send him on a fly. You can send him to an out route. It, it doesn't matter. The concept is we want to read high to low, however you want to teach that progression. A lot of times I like just getting it out to the flat because in a cover three, this guy vacates and this guy ends up trying to attack the quarterback and you end up having a wide open flat. Other times he, he drops back, okay? And then, and then he puts himself in a different type of position. So really, you need to study film. You need to really look at other sprint packages um, and how they're ran against the, def the defense you're gonna be facing that week. So this is one beautiful way of attacking. All else fails, quarterback can take it, but he's got three options to choose from. Simple sprint out. I don't think this is anything new. I think you coaches have been acclimated to the sprint game, but it's, uh, it's a piece that's often forgot. You know, a lot of coaches forget about using it, okay? Then the next thing I wanna talk about, instead of, have, instead of running some kind of boot or some kind of whatever, I like to just use an old simple, like what we call an RPO, right? So I don't give a damn what the play is. It could be stretch right, it could be toss right, okay? It could be even our, our, our counter weak, okay? So whatever did play that you've decided to call in, of, of, of the three options we've chosen, stretch, toss, and, and counter weak, the only two people that need to know about this is your X split in and your quarterback. So the play comes in, truck right, stretch right, counter weak, doesn't matter, okay? Typically when we show signs of strength to, to, the, to the tight end side, the corner is gonna drop way off in a cover three. If this is the case, we just have a quick route that we're gonna just throw right now, okay? This could be a smoke pass or it could be a slant, okay? The only two people that need to know about this is your quarterback and your X, okay? If at any time this corner presses that X, we're running the run play, okay? The only time this qualifies is the quarterback's gonna read the defense and he's gonna say, wow, that corner's seven yards back. I'm gonna throw a quick slant, okay? Only thing to watch out for is that will flying out to the curl. Okay, just be, be, con you know, be leery of that. If your quarterback's not good at picking that up, then just call a simple smoke pass, okay? That's my passing game to the weak side. You'd be surprised, okay? A lot of coaches wonder like, well, is that as sophisticated as you get in the passing game? Absolutely. Anyways, that's how we attack sides of strength and sides of weakness in both the run and pass game against the cover three. Thank you.